Hey everyone, in this video we're just going to be taking a quick look at the levels and contrast in Photoshop and this is just going to be another quick tutorial. So I have one of my older images here and I'm just going to be showing you this example on the character itself. So it doesn't look bad but I could add a little bit more contrast just to show my point in this video. And the most common way that most people would adjust the contrast would be in this adjustments layer here. If you don't have this, go over to window and make sure adjustments is ticked. So the easiest way to do it would be just to come across here and hit the brightness and contrast. And this adds a layer here and it's going to affect anything below it. So if we up the contrast, you can see straight away how it affects the colour and the lights and the darks. You've also got brightness up here if you wanted to play around with that. So if you drag the contrast down, it's going to be a bit greyer, there's not going to be as much contrast. If you drag it up, there's going to be more contrast. So that's the most common way of doing it. I don't usually use that method though. I prefer to use another method. I prefer to use levels. So on my keyboard, if I just hit Ctrl and L, and I already had the image selected, the layer selected that I want to use this on. So without overcomplicating this, just at a basic level, you have your darker values or your blacks on the left and your lighter values and the white on the right. And you can adjust these just by dragging these little nodes along the bottom. So if I drag this left hand node over to the right, you can see how it darkens the character. And this one on the right hand side for the whites, if I drag that across, you can see how it increases the whites. I like to think of these as sort of a maximum and a minimum within the black and white value range. So if we drag again this black one over to the right a little bit, Think of it as anything behind this one is going to be completely black, which you might not want, so you might only want to drag it up to where your blacks start here. Or if you're not too bothered, you might want to drag it past there, but that's a bit unlikely. And the same with this one on the right. So if I drag it here, this is where my whites seem to start. If I drag it past this point, it might start looking a little bit overexposed almost. So if I leave it about that, that would probably be about the full value range without it going a bit dodgy. And you can also drag this node in the middle here. So if you drag it to the left, everything's going to get a little bit lighter, but it's going to keep some of its darkest range because of this node on the left. And if I drag it to the right, it's going to be much darker, but it is going to keep its brightest points because of this node on the right. A way to look at this is when you drag it to the left, there's a bigger range of lights or a bigger range of whites and when you drag it to the right there's a bigger range of darks. So I'm just going to touch this up, I might be overdoing it a little bit but it's just to show you the difference of before and after. There are more advanced settings in the levels options but I'm not going to go into those because I don't use them. Okay so this is how it looked before and this is how it looks once we've adjusted the levels and added more contrast to it. And I use this on my digital paintings, usually at the end, as you sometimes find that you haven't quite used a large enough range of values, and it can leave your artwork looking a little bit flat. So instead of repainting over it, this small tweak can make quite a big difference just to finish off your paintings. But obviously don't overdo it. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below, and make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.